आर योर ग्रेटेस्ट एसेट सो पुट योर टाइम एफर्ट एंड मनी इन टू ट्रेनिंग नमस्कार वेलकम टू डेली पीटी पॉइंटर्स एंड आर फर्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू चंद्रयान थ्री एंड ये न्यूज में भी इसलिए है क्योंकि रिसेंटली चंद्रयान थ्री has successfully soft landed on the moon and with this india has created history as it became the first country to land on the south pole of the lunar surface and india has also become the fourth country to successfully land on the moon baki three countries ke naam aapko comment section mein likhne hain now let's know more about chandrayaan 3 So friends it was launched in july and it is a follow on mission to chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate end to end capability in safe landing and rowing on lunar surface it consists of indigenous lander module a propulsion module and rover with an objective of developing and demonstrating new technologies required for interplanetary missions and the objective of the mission are to demonstrate safe and soft landing on the lunar surface to demonstrate rover rowing on the moon and conduct in situ scientific experiments and do you know friends southern polar region of the moon is known to have deep craters that remain in permanent darkness with a high likelihood of having water ice our next headline is related to bharat new car assessment program jo ki ek safety assessment initiative hai जो कि लॉन्च किया गया है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे इट इज अ स्टार रेटिंग सिस्टम फॉर क्रैश टेस्टिंग कार्स अंडर विच व्हीकल्स विल बी असाइंड बिटवीन वन टू फाइव स्टार्स इंडिकेटिंग देयर सेफ्टी इन कोलाइजन इट इज मॉडल्ड ऑन द ग्लोबल न्यू कार असेसमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड इट विल कमेंस फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एंड विल बी बेस्ड ऑन ऑटोमेटिव इंडस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड्स 197 द प्रोग्राम इज एप्लीकेबल टू पैसेंजर व्हीकल्स विद नॉट मोर देन एट सीट इन एडिशन टू ड्राइवर सीट विद ग्रॉस व्हीकल वेट not exceeding 3500 kg and do you know friends only base model of a particular variant will be tested it is aimed to provide a tool to the car customers to make a comparative assessment of crash safety of motor vehicles available in the market now recently cr rao a renowned mathematician and statistician passed away he taught and researched at the indian statistical institute kolkata and he pioneered several fundamental statistical concepts such as kramer rao inequality rao black velocization he served as chairman of the committee on statistics chairman of the demographic and communication for population population control chairman of committee on mathematics atomic energy commission member of committee on science and technology and after his retirement cr rao moved to united states and worked at several universities and former us president george bush conferred on him the national medal of science and he was also awarded india's highest honors padma bhushan and padma vibhushan in 1969 and 2001 respectively and he had recently received the prestigious international prize in statistics 2023 our next headline is related to national curriculum framework jo ki recently release kiya gaya hai union education minister ke dwara and it addresses education for the age group 3 to 18 years across entire range of diverse institutions in india it addresses entire educational journey from foundational to secondary stages and it covers all four stages of schooling it marks an important and transformative step towards the implementation of national education policy 2020 and under it students in class 9th and 10th will need to learn three languages of which at least two will be native to india and in class 11th and 12th students will learn two languages including one of the indian origin currently students in class 9th and 10th study two languages and student in class 11th and 12th study one language now all students will be allowed to take board exams on at least two occasions during any given school year with only best scores being retained our next headline is related to astra missile and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki recently light combat aircraft tejas successfully fired the astra indigenous beyond visual range air to air missile now let's know more about astra missile to friends 
it is the state of art beyond visual range air to air missile to engage and destroy highly maneuvering supersonic aerial targets and it is designed and developed by defense research and development laboratory research center emirat and other laboratories of drdo our next headline is related to lunar polar exploration also known as lupex mission and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki isro is preparing for one more lunar mission with collaboration with japanese space agency and the mission is called Lunar Polar Exploration which is scheduled for 2024 2025 it will explore the polar regions of the moon and this time venturing into the permanently shaded regions it is also planned to investigate the abundance of water in the polar regions and explore possibilities of locating a long term station in these areas our next headline is related to government e market place and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki recently it has surpassed 1 lakh crore in gross merchandise value in a record 145 days of the current financial year now let's know more about government e market place so friends it is an online public procurement portal which is developed to facilitate the procurement of goods and services by various government departments agencies and public sector undertakings ये लॉन्च हुआ था अगस्त 2016 में एज पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट्स डिजिटल इंडिया इनिशिएटिव टू ब्रिंग ट्रांसपेरेंसी एफिशिएंसी एंड कॉस्ट इफेक्टिवनेस टू पब्लिक प्रोक्योरमेंट इट एम्स टू सिंप्लीफाई द पब्लिक प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोसेस रिड्यूस पेपर वर्क एंड प्रमोट द यूज ऑफ डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर गवर्नमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट आर नेक्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू नेशनल जुडिशियल डाटा ग्रिड विच इज अ डाटा बेस ऑफ ऑर्डर जजमेंट्स एंड केस डिटेल्स of more than 18000 district and subordinate courts and high courts it is created as an online platform under e courts project data is updated on a near real time basis by connected district and taluka courts it provides data relating to judicial proceedings decisions of all computerized district and subordinate courts of the country and all high courts have also joined the national judicial data grid through web services providing easy access facility to the litigant public so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms